you think, web, really bringing neurosurgeons and you know, all these technology-driven disciplines together with psychiatrists, but I think it's great. And, and um, just the first few hours here that I've been here, I can see that it works. I think SBNT offers uh, a unique and very important perspective in regards to neuroscience, uh, clinical neurology, and neurosurgery. And that's different disciplines coming together and sharing their expertise. To prevent you know, harm to the patient, you have to know every bit of the brain. Whatever said and done, it's still a complex organ, and many things about it are still a mystery. The neuroscience community is a broad community, has many, many different, you know, basically thousands of, of researchers who are all working on the brain. So computing, engineering, um, sort of hardcore physical sciences have a lot to offer in the biological sphere to really accelerate research progress. You have a connections with many other colleagues from other fields of interest, so it's a great pleasure for us, for me to come and see other people, what they are doing, other fields and connections, all of that to neuroscience. Scientists are here, physicians are here, clinicians are here, caregivers are here, um, affected individuals are here. Dr. Babak invited me to the conference to speak on my personal experience living with a spinal cord injury. It's incredibly important showing up here and seeing everybody working so hard to make progress for people in my community. What's transpired in the past 20 plus years? Technology has advanced tremendously. Uh, in some respects, not enough. In fact, that's what I like to talk about the most is not just where it, where it is now, but where it needs to go. And uh, what it, that's what excites me. Particularly in this case, we did a lot of demonstrations of the new technology. Be able to talk to the, per, the people that made that technology and be able to con connect with them. We're, we're showcasing a, a 3D 4K robotic exoscope. Which uh, incorporates true 3D vision for surgeons. Both in cranial neurosurgery as well as spine neurosurgery. We absolutely think that there's, there's cross-functional impact to the products that we offer. And so uh, there, are, there are broad areas of interest for us with the, the type of individuals who are interested in the Congress. And one of the key areas of need is to have better measurements to ensure that when we develop what we think are better therapies, we can measure the biological response with treatment and look at bi biological measures or biomarkers that can help inform and, and, and de-risk our, our clinical trials. The, uh, the bright minds that are here uh, collaborating with industry you know, leaders um, in not only in capital but in um, you know, the psychology uh, you know, that's here and uh, just bringing together those minds with the tools that the industry's developed in order to not just do well with um, the technology that's available today, but to take that technology and, uh, and bring it forward. I, I, I want uh, all the world uh, see the Amazon and, and help the Amazon. We have a whole host of different types of talks and programs during our SBMT Congress every year where we kind of work on bringing together ideas from disparate specialties. Scientists from the national labs, scientists from the neuroscience community, and so getting the two sides of the community to come together and share work and share information is very important. Um, and I'm kind of hoping to, to recapture that this year, and truth be told, we had a meeting uh, earlier today and it felt very much like that. It was very uh, intimate and very easy to to interact with the speakers. In fact, I think that they are right now off discussing potential collaborations. I think 
The concept of bringing people together across industries is important um, to get people out of their individual silos um, and, and to foster this, this concept of um, lifelong learning or thinking outside the box to, to revisit our assumptions around what we understand about um, either specific diseases or how we can go about treatment of the, those diseases. People from across the globe are coming. They have seen us, they have witnessed us, and they want to experience what SBMT offers. Patients present with a variety of symptoms. When they go to a doctor, they, if they go to a psychiatrist, they may complain about somatic disorders. If they go to a diabetologist, they won't only talk about their diabetes, but also maybe about, um, well, heart problems, but also then a cardiac problems, but also then maybe feelings of sadness or mood problems. So we know from epidemiological data, there's a huge overlap. So people with heart problems, metabolic problems or so have problems uh, with psych psychological problems and the other way around. So we already know that there is this comorbidity, as we call it, right? And I think medicine for too long has ignored this, uh, the, the overlap and the, the joint presentation of, of disorders. Conference like this, this is now in the field of neuroscience, bringing this together, I think, is, is I think the way to go. I mean, I attend so many meetings, right? And I mean, I was president of the world, of the International Society of Psychiatric Genetics at one point. So this is just psychiatric genetics, and it's very important. Without such a society, without these meetings, we wouldn't have gathered all these large resources that we have now that, that, bring, that move us forward. It has grown from less than 25 people in a room to more than 1,000 people. When, you, when it comes to neurological disorders and uh, um, mental health issues, we have so many different types of disease. Coming with new uh, knowledge and take that knowledge and uh, apply it to uh, patient care. Technology moves so fast, I can't keep up with it, so it is uh, conferences and meetings, much like SBMT here, that allows me to see other areas of physiology, other areas of neuroscience, and be able to talk to probably some of the smartest people that we have. Each year gets better and better. And as our footprint has grown, um, not only within LA, but even across our borders to other countries, we're getting more recognition for the type of work that we're bringing. The environment is stupendous. I think is, uh, the meeting is fantastic. And really driving innovation, exploration, and scientific curiosity that, that, that we're all thriving for, and uh, this is a great environment.